do that, let's tell you this story out of KwaZulu Natal. The ANC in that province is intervening in the Umgeni municipality due to corruption allegations. Last week, residents protested over nepotism and the lack of job opportunities for young people. They are also calling for the removal of the municipal manager, Tembe Gakribani, as they say this all happens under her watch. ENCA's Tuba Vilane is in Hawick, Guazulu Natal, and is following that story uh, and has an update there for us. So, Tuba, uh, the, the situation seems to be a bit, a bit tense in that particular area. Uh, issues coming to a head, and we understand these are issues that have to do with uh, the unavailability of employment opportunities as well as corruption. What's happening where you are right now? Maybe let me start by moving out of the shot so that you can see. These are protesters. Uh, they are mainly ANC members here in Ehawiki. As you correctly said, Tulasizwe, some of the things that they are complaining about is the lack of job opportunities for young people, nepotism, and the on top of that now, they are calling for the removal of the municipal manager, whom they believe that uh, she's responsible for everything that has happened in this municipality. And they believe that as an administrator in this municipality, she should have been able to take steps. But let me now bring in the leader of the protesters, Uwanda Potriter. Thank you so much for your time, sir. Um, just take us through, um, I understand you, you, you're raising the issue of corruption and nepotism. Can you give us details on what, where does that um, allegations come from? Uh, good morning to you and good morning to the viewers. In order, that, those allegations come from, uh, how can I put it to you, we've, had time, we've tried to engage these issues internally in order for us to correct them, but it has become a problem there where we weren't, weren't, weren't receiving any assistance. Until we had taken a decision that we should come and actually close the enemy municipality, because for one, nepotism is at its highest level. For two, you find out that maladministration, you find out that, yeah, you have in our municipality where you have councillors who, who are entrepreneurs, instead of taking service, services to the people, they are taking services into their pockets. So people are fed up of, of, of actually engaging because. We've, we've, we've tied ample amount of times in ensuring that we do it internally, but we've, we, we didn't get any, any joy out of it. For a whole week, um, there's been, uh, this municipality has been closed. Do, are you not worried that uh, services that are supposed to be rendered by these municipalities um, now is not able to? No, we are worried that services are not actually getting to the people. But for you to correct something, you've got to correct it properly. Because the thing is, we've engaged leadership of the municipality, we've engaged leadership of the region, and now we've engaged leadership of the province, of which the province is actually currently busy with it now as we speak. And they have said to us that by the end of the day, they would come back with a positive answer. So what we have said to the province is, once they have not given us any positive answer concerning the municipal manager, we would, we'd continue with this, with this program. Very lastly, sir, don't you think again that People will start saying this is, has something, is something to do with the upcoming local government election. And moreover, the issue of the leadership of the ANC in Moses Mapida region, as we understand that the, 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 the structure is currently led by the RTT. No, I doubt it, because the problem is here, we have no interest, we have no interest in becoming councillors. What we have interest in is ensuring that our municipality brings services to the people. That's our main, our main aim. And it's been high time that we take this step because, as I'm saying, timelessly and time again, we were we are, we are engaging with them, telling them to correct what is wrong, but we had not, had not got any joy. So at least now, this is actually our, 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 a point where we've come to say no. We're starting to get answers. That issue of local government would not assist us because even if we go, even if we go and campaign as African National Congress and campaign for the, for the, new, for the new leadership to come in, we will, there will be questions that will be raised which we are challenging now. So we've got to clean our house first in order for we go out and go and tell the people that no, they should continue voting for the ANC.
Thank you so much for your time, sir. As you heard it, Tula Cesar, uh, we understand um, that the ANC has summoned all ANC councillors from this municipality to the provincial office in trying to resolve this matter. But besides that, there was a delegation coming from the provincial office that came here on Friday. But what makes things worse here at Tula Cesar is that for the whole week, from Monday last week up until today, this municipality has been closed. They are not able to work, as today it's also still closed. All right, thank you for that update there. That's ENCA's Tuba Vilani, who is out in Hawick, focusing on the state of the Umgeni local municipality, just one of the many municipalities that are under the spotlight. You'll know, of course, that here in Gauteng, uh, the MEC Lebohang Maile is due to brief media uh, about issues to do with local government, including what happened in Tswane.